Now, erosion in Waikiki has been a long-time concern, and the city is once again looking for solutions to combat the problem. Today, Mayor Kirk Caldwell announced a new pilot project at Kuhio Beach. But will it work? Elisa Revelo shows us what it is. Elisa? Kathy, city officials installed what's called a sand mattress on Tuesday at Kuhio Beach. I'm told it uses technology that works with Mother Nature rather than against it. Here's a look at the installation of the sand mattress. I'm told inside the mattress are several tubes filled with sand, and then more sand was placed on top. Here's how the sand mattress works. It's made up of a special material that traps the sand inside and prevents the water from washing it back out into the ocean. So it gives it a lot of mass. So when the wave energy impacts the concrete wall, the wave will wash up the beach, and then uh, it'll protect the, sand, uh, the soil from eroding from underneath the mattress. But because of its weight, it stays in place. Officials tell me the cost of this pilot project is about $3,000, and the sand mattress is estimated to last 10 to 20 years. This technology particularly came from Asia, where it's used for embankment stabilization, shoreline stabilization, and large river embankment stabilization projects. It's the latest attempt to stabilize the beach and make it safer for visitors. Previous projects, like moving sand, ended up not working and eventually posed a risk. There was big chunks of concrete, kind of loose and a tripping hazard. The coconut trees were at risk of erosion and, and you know, essentially falling over over time if that dirt kept eroding from the sand. I'm told the sand mattress has proven to be effective in other parts of the world, but there is still some skepticism. And it, it just broke it and crumpled it up. And I'm thinking if it can do that to concrete, you know, what chance does, does the blanket have? And that there's always been these temporary band-aid fixes down here. I asked what are some ideas for long-term solutions. We're working with the Department of Land and Natural Resources on putting in a sandbag growing. Now these are not the normal small sandbags. These are like uh, sandbags that are that weigh up to a ton. And the idea is that then you use them to, to create this uh, groin. The goal is to get that larger sandbag groin installed and completed by 2018, but I'm also told more sources for sand need to be identified. The city tells me Kauai County and Hawaii County have also looked into the sand mattress for their erosion problems.